Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th Grade, Module 17, Lesson 4. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can divide a decimal by a whole number. The learning objective is to divide decimals by whole numbers. And the prior learning is that students explain division by using equations, rectangular arrays, and area models, and students divided using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and the relationship between multiplication and division. All right, so moving into the lesson on page 433, it says Mr. Lewis bought a watermelon for a summer picnic. At home, he carves the watermelon and places 12 bowls of watermelon pieces. Each bowl weighs the same amount. How much does each bowl weigh? All right, so I see that I have 4.8 pounds. And just like we've been doing, if we know we are going to be dividing, we can rearrange this number. So instead of 4.8, I'm going to go ahead and look at this as one big number so that I can divide it up. So I'm going to look at it as 48 tenths. So that they're all in the same place value so that it's easier for me to divide. Now, if I have 48 tenths, and I know I want to make 12 bowls. I'm going to make 12 circles for my 12 bowls. And if you have your math facts down, you should recognize that 48, if I'm dividing it by 12, math fact 48 divided by 12 or 12 times what equals 48, that's going to be 4. So I am going to have 4 different pieces in each of my bowls. So this would be equaling 48 total dots, four in each bowl. So what does that mean for our total problem? It means how much does each bowl weigh? Well, if I just gave each bowl one tenth, because I had 48 tenths to separate out, if I gave each one four of the tenths, that means that each bowl is gonna weigh 0 0.4 in the unit that we're using as pounds, so 0 0.4 pounds. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. Number one, it says Janet builds a ladder to a tree fort. She places the steps at equal intervals. How far apart are the steps? Write a division expression to represent the situation and draw to show the division. So we have 2.1 meters for the total ladder length. And what we're missing is how many steps there are. So we do need to count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those steps. So our problem here, and I'm just going to help you a little bit, is we the um, division expression to represent the situation is going to be 2.1 divided by 7. And that's all I'm going to give you for this one beforehand. All right now you need to draw a picture to represent what's going on. And again, you can use those base 10 blocks to help. Remember that we have been combining the numbers into the same place value to make them easier to divide. I suggest you do the same thing. And then for A, how did you represent 2.1? Go ahead and tell me what you did when you were doing your visual model. For B, are you asked to find an estimate or the exact answer and how do you know? For C, describe how you were able to solve the problem. So just tell me what you did to solve that problem. For D, how much does each group get? And then E, what's your final answer? How far apart are the steps on the ladder? All right, so for number one, um, I'm just going to have you draw the picture and then for A, B, C, and D, go ahead and answer those couple questions. Go ahead and try your best on these problems and then we will come back and solve these together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and solve this. So for, if I had 2.1, I'm going to go ahead and make that as if I had 21 tenths. Then I know that if I had seven equal groups, I know that I've had 21 and I'm dividing by seven, that's going to be three. So I'm going to put three equal parts. All 
All right, so for A, how did I represent 2.1? Well, I could do this as 2.1. I, I took my 2.1 and I turned it into 21 tenths. So for B, are you asked to find an estimate or the exact answer? There is no about or roughly, right? So we are finding the exact answer. And we know that there's no, there's no about or roughly or anything like that. All right, for C, it says, describe how you were able to solve the problem. So I divided my 21 tenths into seven groups. So how much does each root group represent? Well, I gave them three, so that's gonna be three tenths. So then for, for my final answer, how far apart are the steps of the ladder? It's gonna be 0 0.3 and then that's gonna be meters, M for meters. All right, go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems on this lesson and I'll see you back for lesson five.